seven microsas products that were self-funded for each of these examples we taken a look at how much revenue they generate what the product does and who it was founded by our first example is called gopher it does a self-reported two thousand dollars a month in recurring revenue and it was founded by mohammed alabu it's an ai driven customer support tool that's going to empower your support team help streamline conversations analyze sentiments and elevate performance all in real time it's also going to help streamline the training for support agents so this tool is taking a different angle Rather than trying to replace customer service agents, it's going to help empower them. Our next example is called Securify. It's actually a Shopify app that does a self-reported $400 a month in recurring revenue. It was founded by Ayub Mustaid, and it makes it easy for Shopify merchants to block IPs or countries. So you can block certain countries that you might not want visiting your Shopify store. Maybe they're having a bunch of chargebacks from that area. And in terms of revenue generation, it's done on a monthly basis at $5.99 or $9.49 a month. It also helps protect Shopify stores by disabling right-click, text selection, and copying and cutting and pasting. This is relevant if you're a drop shipper, as an example, as you don't want people copying your descriptions or elements you've created for those products. Tipsme does a self-reported $500 a month in recurring revenue. It was founded by Askar, and it makes it super easy to receive tips via QR code or NFC accessories. This product came from the founder's own experienced problem. They were getting their car washed and they realized they didn't have anything to tip them with. So they thought it would be a great idea to make this super simple for people to receive tips online. This was launched in early 2024 and it's built for freelancers, content creators, or service providers. If you've made it this far in the video, I'm sure you wanna build your own MicroSaaS product. I have a complete step-by-step -step academy to show you how to build scale and profit from your very own micro SaaS product even if you don't have any product ideas funding or SaaS experience there's a link in the description below so make sure you check that out if you just want some free SaaS ideas i also have some you can steal all you need to do is enter in your email there is also a link for this in the description below always lander lets you boost email return on investment with AI powered list cleaning. It does a self reported $200 a month in revenue, and the founder had eight plus years working with similar tools that they found overpriced. So they built Always Lander as a more affordable solution, and it has over 2,000 plus sellers using this tool. This tool uses smart email validation using AI to accurately identify and remove invalid emails, significantly improving the overall deliverability of any email campaign. Brainy Bear does does a self-reported $560 a month in recurring revenue, and it was founded by Pierre Young. It allows you to train AI chatbots in just three clicks, helping customers instantly. As it's gonna scan your website or uploaded files to deliver quick, accurate AI answers to customer queries. This lets you resolve up to 80% of customer questions using AI. Screenshotty does a self-reported $120 a month in revenue, and it lets you turn your URLs into screenshots, and it's an affordable REST API that allows you to do so. It was founded by Nihei Takizawa, and this product was originally launched as an internal tool, but is now being sold and integrates with Rapid API. Lastly, we have Auto AE, which allows you to create viral hooks in seconds using AI, and it's the easiest way to make videos like top creators. It does a self-reported $250 a month in recurring revenue, and it was founded by Alex. Alex is a popular YouTuber, and knows that a viral hook is 99% of what makes a video do well. If we take a look at some of the examples, it makes it super easy to generate these hooks into your videos, and something that would take a long time to do otherwise. This concludes the video here on seven MicroSaaS examples that were all self-funded. If you enjoyed this video and like this type of content, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. I also have tons of other videos on the channel just like this, so make sure you check them out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.